Good morning, YouTube family. Good morning. It's another day that God has made, and I am thankful and grateful that God has given me a second chance to do it all over again. And this morning, right before we start, I ask that you guys hit that like button, comment down below, and make sure you guys subscribe to this channel. And this morning, I'm just so thankful. I'm thankful for life. I'm thankful that God has saw favor over my life. I'm thankful that I am still alive. I'm thankful that I am healthy. I'm just thankful that God has kept his hands over my life. And I'm thankful for you guys. I'm thankful for each and every one of you who are continuing to watch these videos, continue to be faithful, continue to pray, and continue to thank God for life. You know, <clears throat> last night, me and my wife, we were watching this movie, <clears throat> and... If you ever, guys, if you ever seen the movie or documentary, it's called The Corner. And I was, you know, looking at their lives, you know, how some of them made it, some of them didn't. And I just, I told my wife this morning, I said, I thank God that I wasn't raised up in an environment like that, you know. And my heart goes out to those people, you know, who were infected and all those kids that grew up in that type of environment, you know, because life is hard. Life is hard, but, you know, that's why we can call on the name of Jesus. We can call on the name of Jesus because, you know, he is our comforter. He is our provider. And I'm thankful for my life, you know, I'm thankful to just still be here, you know, doing what God wants me to do. And no matter what goes on in my life, I'm going to always be thankful and I'm going to always give God the praise and the glory. And I'm going to continue to do what God has called me to do. And even though this this world that we live in in. You know, it's so cruel, it's sad, you um, know, it has no feeling. We have to keep God first. We have to keep God first in our lives because it's a lot of people out there, as I mentioned, grew up in environments where they didn't have a choice. And I know some of you may think or say, well, we do have choices. Yes, we do. But when you're in an environment where it's so hard to get out or you were raised in an environment where you got hooked by the things that you've seen, you know, I just thank God for my life. I thank God for keeping me. I thank God for bringing me this far because, you know, I knew a lot of people growing up, you know, didn't make it to the age of 18, didn't make it to the age of 21. And I am blessed and highly favored that I am still here. I just know that God has something for me. And he has something for you. We just have to stay focused. Stay focused and be obedient and listen to God's voice. But this morning, you guys, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for my life. I'm really thankful that God has kept me. I'm thankful that God is using me, you know, because we could be anywhere in the world. But God, but God had his hands on me. And I pray for those people that live in those type of environments and don't see no way out. But you know what? God looks down on them. Just as God has something for me. He has something for you. Right before we end this video, let's pray. 
Let's give it to God. <laughs> Heavenly Father, we come saying thank you. Thank you, Lord God, for another day. Father God, I ask right now that you look down on your people, that you touch each and every individual that is watching this video. I ask right now, Father, that you touch my family as a whole. Father God, I ask right now that you cover us in your blood. Father God, we thank you for what you're doing, for what you're getting ready to do, and what you have already done. We love you. And Father God, I thank you for this day. Thank you for this day. I ask right now, Father God, that you keep us. That you keep us focused on what you have planned for our life. And this morning, Father God, this day, I just want to say thank you. And I am thankful for what you have done. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Amen. And thank God. As I always say, when you plant the seed, you shall receive your blessings, your breakthroughs from Jesus Christ. Just as it says in the word of God, God will never leave you, nor will he forsake you. Give it to God this morning because he gave it to you. Until next time, be blessed.